Hi everybody, my, neighbor, my name is Aníbal Azevedo and now we are in the class 5 and in this class 5 we're gonna learn something about uh, how we can produce some functions to draw a container ship. If you missed the last class, it will appear as a car in, in the top of this video and now we're gonna see some code. We are already done some interesting code and uh, in the description of this video you have the link for many codes we already done through this track okay and in this first track we are trying to create a simulator but to create the simulator first we need create a container ship class and this container ship class should have some draw functions so we are testing some functions to draw a container ship now you're gonna see the Google Collab here is a kind of Google Docs where I can put some uh, Python commands and now we're gonna start how to uh, I can create new commands I can create new commands using functions so to create a function just use this uh, reserved word this is a special word and this is special word defines a new command for example I have this new command test okay or I can create a more interesting uh, command here, ship, let's see, this is a better name. And now this ship will be an empty list, how I define this, an empty list. But I can fill this ship, this empty ship, uh, using a bay. For example, I can define a list of lists, okay? So uh, every line here will have uh, a list of numbers. Each value will be separated by comma. So we will have uh, four columns and four values for each list. And we will have uh, four rows here representing four lines, the dimension of the container ship. As you can see, uh, the first lines here are empty because they are the first lines have zero value and zero value represents that there is no container there okay and finally uh, places cells values with a number greater than zero represent a place a cell in the container ship that is occupied by some container and represent the destination of the container finally we will append this bay okay we created the bay so we will create this but to be more uh, formal and to be correct we should do bay.copy why bay.copy because this will create a copy of the all these values and if you modify using this variable vm if you modify uh, the first value of of zero change for one or here and uh, this will change only for this vm variable not in bay but if you don't use this copy we will pass the reference so it means if you change vm a variable you also are changing the bay variable that's not a very uh, good uh, effect it can be very uh, bad for your program if you have this a kind of copy okay so let's return so if i define a command i can define what uh, variables what numbers what uh, is returned by this new command so let's test this new command how i can test this i can write uh, vm or s for example a variable s we will receive the very uh, the result from calling ship command so ship command i will print what is inside the variable s and uh let's see now i will click here to play uh, it's connecting to google uh server and now finally they uh, executed the command so it's not a very beautiful uh, thing to see here because we are we don't use it all the commands that we already uh, called in the uh, previously videos 
So what I'm gonna do, I will present a better way to show this uh, container ship. And let's use the codes that we used in previous videos. So I will use the library plotly dot figure underscore factory as short name ff not this it's wrong uh automatically feelings sometimes uh, annoying so uh i will use diff i will not create another command a command that will draw my ship draw ship okay so to draw a ship i can do this for for it's just a command to repeat another command okay just do simple at this time so imagine that we have uh one bay bay so i'm interested in for example i i just want to plot the first bay of the ship okay so uh, here we're gonna use s here so d0 means I want to try to access the first bay of the ship just to see the difference be between print s and to print s zero let's see it here so this is not very in uh, easy to understand because we are trying to access and seems the, to be the same but it's not the same because if you uh, add another bay here for example a copy or you can uh change here for example okay let's let's add two bays here okay so the first bay is the first uh, list here is this is the first bay this is the first bay and this is the first element of a, the 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 greater list and this is the second element of this list and if you want to access the first list the first bay will be this we can also access the second bay using this integer value because the values inside a list is are indexed by integer numbers okay so as we have two elements two base we can use this zero or one index to assess the for the first or the second bay so uh this is important because now if you have uh, a lot of base for example the first bay the second bay you should plot both but let's start simple imagine that we try to to create the figure we're gonna use this ff create annotated annotated hit map hit map I'm gonna use bay okay this temporary variable bay and also I'm, I'm interested to use color scale rainbow color scale rainbow that's it so uh, after this I should uh, use this thing dot show to show the figure so uh, every time i have this value as ship i can draw this variable using the command draw ship and specify that i'm um, i should uh, draw the uh, the this specific uh, container ship as the information contained on this variable okay so let's see so okay performantly correct uh you should see that we first draw imagine that the first lines are on the on the top of the container but in fact when we draw uh these are on bot on the bottom we can solve this we can invert this but i i will not uh, solve this at this time i'm more my main concern here is i'm just drawing the first bay so how i can draw the both bays so i can use the command for for in e uh, b in uh, s so 
they uh, or I can use this. So I should do this because this both two commands will be inside will be uh, repeated by four. So let's see what happens here if it's okay. Not here. It's not working because B is not defined. Okay, B. Now we have B variable B in our B. But you can also use B here. Not problem. B here. So let's see. So S has two components. Have two has two base. So if I use four, they will see. Okay, we have two base for each bay in the ship. I will draw for the first bay, and for the second bay, I will perform these two commands. So this worked beautifully, and it's it was very interesting because we we are uh, avoided this indexing, which also is possible but it can be very very confusing you can also use this indexing uh, performing a more uh, how can i say this a, a more uh, annoying way of writing this but this is very beautiful and i will keep this okay but there is another way to to write this for but i i understand that is the most beautiful way to describe this and to to produce the container ship patterns uh, per bay. So uh, I hope you find this video interesting and beautiful. And for the next video, I will show how uh, you can create another kind of draw. A draw. Uh, as you can see here, we don't have lines here and sometimes this could be very uh, difficult to understand how many cells we have here because we don't have lines this is a main concern for this type of, of drawing a container ship uh, because we don't see the the grid lines so we, i know that is an interesting way to draw something but here we can see the the limit uh, the space, the exactly space for each cell, and uh, I will use, I will employ what I explained in the first video of this track. So uh, the first video with coding, with code in Python. So I hope you find it interesting. I hope you find you're okay for this video. And if you have any doubt, please write in the comments. See the description of this video with the code that will help you uh, to guide you. Uh, through this code. Thank you and I hope you'll find in the next video. Bye!